Hello friends, this is Aditya and you're watching Electric Vehicles India. Friends, welcome back to EV News. In this video, let's look some of the latest news and updates from our EV industry. So let's get started. Friends, first news is from Ola. Ola S1 Air final payment window is opened on July 28th. Previously, Ola announced that this final payment window will be open on July 28, 29 and 30. But after they received 5000 bookings in these 3 days, they extended this final payment window till August 15. So if any one of you planning to buy this Ola S1 Air, you can pre-book this and you can do final payment till August 15, 12 pm. So the people who complete their final payment till August 15, 12 pm will get this Ola S1 Air electric scooter at an introductory cost of 1.1 lakh rupees. After August 15 this price is going to increase to 1.2 lakh rupees so if any one of you planning to buy please go ahead and buy till august 15 friends next news is from tvs tvs completed 1.5 lakh unit sales milestone recently actually this tvs iq electric scooter launched in 2020 january but it took three years to complete 1.5 lakh unit sales milestone surprisingly tvs sold 1 lakh electric scooters in this 2023 itself even though they launched this tvs iq electric scooters in 2020 the price was so high and the range was so less but when they revised this pricing and range in 2022 they got huge response for this tvs iq electric scooters in the past one year itself they sold one lakh units and finally they completed 1.5 lakh sales milestone and i'm pretty sure they are going to complete three lakh milestones soon Friends, next news is from Aether. The launch of Aether 450S electric scooter has been postponed. Actually, the Aether 450S electric scooter should be unveiled today, but due to some reasons, they postponed this event to August 11. So on August 11, we can expect the launch event of this Aether 450S. This Aether 450S is going to come with a 3 kilowatt hour battery, 90 to 100 kilometers real range, 90 km per top speed, and with 1.3 lakh X showroom cost. Friends, next news is from Tata. Tata recently introduced Tata Power EZ charge card. Basically, this card can be used at Tata Power charging stations. Whenever the electric car owner goes to the charging stations, he used to uh, do the final payment or he used to select the charging power in the app. And when he initiates the charge from the app, then only the Tata Power charging station will start initiating the power to your car. But from now, you can only use this card to charge your car. When you visit Tata Power charging station, you should just tap this card to the charging station, then automatically the charging starts. You don't need any internet to access is the Tata Power Charging Station. You can book this card in Tata Power EZ app or you can visit nearest Tata dealership. Friends, next news is from Mahindra. I know most of you people like Mahindra Tar. What if I say the Mahindra Tar is going to come in electric version? What's your reaction? Yes, many news and leaks are coming from the resources that Mahindra is going to announce this Tar EV concept on this August 15. Mahindra is planning a global event in South Africa on August 15 and there is a high chance that Mahindra is going to announce the future plans on this Star EV. So what's your reaction and thoughts on this Star EV? Please let me know in the comments. Friends, next news is from Bengaluru. Tata Motors has recently partnered with BMTC, Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation, to deploy 921 electric buses. So recently, they inaugurated the prototype of this smart electric bus from Tata. So from now, you are going to see the Tata electric buses in Bangalore city. So in this partnership, Tata Motors is going to deploy 921 electric buses to BMTC. So this agreements include supply, operation and maintenance of this 921 electric Electric buses up to 12 years. This electric buses has a capacity of 35 passengers. So how many of you watching this video from Bangalore? Please let me know in the comments. So these are some of the latest news and updates from our EV industry. So that's it for today's video. Please let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment section. And if you found the video helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe Electric Vehicles India. See you in another interesting video. Until then, go green, go electric.